Hello, everybody. Welcome back to part two of Not So Berry Challenge Generation Two. Today we have Miss Stella about to head off to work. Actually, that just made me realize did I ever edit the seasons for this save file? I don't know. I did. Okay. Okay, cool. So she's about to head off to work. Let's go ahead and fill the food bowl. And while she's at work, we're going to be hanging out with Mr. Rico. And I'm going to have him invite Ida over. Um, because she is a stylist, it might be a little hard to actually be able to spend time with her just because I don't think stylists actually have set hours. So sometimes, um, sometimes it can be really hard to get them to like come over to our house and stuff. But I kind of like having Mr. Rico here because he's so fine also. I'm at work. See, this is why I don't think Ida's going to work out just because it's hard with style when you when they work a job that doesn't have set hours it's really hard to get them to not respond with i'm at work um but like i was saying i really like having him here because i think he's gonna be a good distraction while stella is at work um but since he uh has all day, we're gonna go to the library and try and find somebody. Since Stella is doing the whole online dating thing, I think I want him to do uh, more like meet someone naturally, organically. And we do have, there is another girl that he knows. Let's see, where is she? Right here, Miss Tammy. We could always try her, but I don't know. I just don't know. You know, we'll see. We'll have to see how it goes. But we're going to send him to the library. He is an author, so it makes sense that he would come to, you know, a place like this in the middle of the day. Oh, excuse me. And we're going to try and meet some people. See, same thing with this. If we were to try and go for her, like she's a barista slash bartender, she would always be here working. It would be really, really hard to ever get to, like, spend time with her. So I'm going to have him just probably use the bathroom, maybe get something from this little bakery over here, and then hopefully people will show up. If people don't show up, I do think he has a book he's working on. Yeah, he's working on, I think he's going to be like a sports guy when it comes to books. Honestly, I have no idea. But really, I'm hoping that some people show up so we don't have to. And we're going to buy a brownie because why not? I had a brownie the other day and it was so good. I haven't had brownies in so long. They were amazing. Truly just a gift. All right, girl, you're going to go back and do your job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really hope someone else shows up today. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, my goal is hopefully for Stella to get promoted on Wednesday. So then on Thursday, Leisure Day, we can meet up with our first person from online dating. Or maybe we'll try and do that tonight, actually. Maybe we'll invite him over tonight. Who are we going to go for? Mm, I don't remember who we were going to go for. I'm thinking they already came off of our list. Kermit? No. Was it Rhett? I know this guy for sure, but I thought there was someone else we had in mind. I don't know. I don't know. I don't freaking know. The only person here is this damn barista who won't even stay behind the counter. I'll have him work on his book for a little bit, and I guess if we can't find anybody, we'll go to the festival. Because we did have someone... Sh we had had a couple people show up at the festival, so maybe they'll show up again, but I don't know. You guys, I really think I need to do like a factory reset on my computer and um, reset my Sims because I have been having just terrible luck with my Sims lately, like doing this, as you see here, it's freaking frozen. I thought it was my generation save because that household is huge and the save is really big. Um excuse me what do you mean she's late for work go to work I appreciate who are you I don't even know you you're my boss okay I guess we'll sleep with you but we didn't even get paid 
for the first half of her work day because she decided to just freaking leave. Oh my god, I hate her. Hate her so much. Um, how's he doing? His, oh, 69. His book is 69% of the way done. Maybe we'll try and get with our boss because he was low-key kind of cute. He's like cute in a like young, younger guy kind of way, you know? Actually, she is younger. I forget she's young. But I think we're going to go for this guy first. I think going for our boss right away is probably not the best idea. Um... Oh, there's no people here, but there's a damn horse. Jeez Louise. Okay. I'll probably let him go maybe till he finishes his book. Maybe that would be good. <clears throat> yeah, I think we'll just go till we finish our book because he was pretty close to being done. Anyways, this will also improve his writing skill and definitely get him a promotion. So excited for both of those things to happen. He actually might get a promotion before he even finishes. And she's got a long way to go if she wants to get promoted tomorrow because, oh my goodness, she freaking left work. That really put a damper on things. All right, who's here? Norris. Norris, I don't care about you. This is our brother-in-law. But I did actually get a notification that they were fighting, so they might split up soon. You never know. You never freaking know. All right, when you get off work, you're just going to head over here to... Um, the festival. My God, why could I not think of that? I have no idea. And then when you get off work, we are gonna, instead of going home, we're gonna just send a couple friendly texts to a couple people. And then we're gonna invite um, Tarek out. We're gonna go to this bar here, and I'm pretty sure... It opens at 11. I'm pretty sure there's a photo booth at this bar. Let me actually check. And then we can woohoo in the photo booth. So that'll be one of our five. An accomplished sim lover. Oh my god. Girl. Mm, photo booth? No photo booth? Oh, we can do the all-in-one bathroom. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we'll come here and we'll woohoo in the all-in-one bathroom. She is stressed. I mean, we'll woohoo if we get the chance to. I'm not going to force it or anything. Um, I know with Enros, I can force it to happen. Um, but I would like to make it maybe just a little bit, like, natural. All right. Are you close? Oh, yeah. He's right there. Oh, I need to change his lifetime wish. I keep forgetting. Um, Rico has been conferred a small time scribe. I feel like he probably got two promotions. Packed with awesomeness. Unfortunately, not everything you write can be a hit or bestseller. If things don't improve for Rico, everything will be a flop. <gasps> he flopped. He flopped. Um, but he is level two in writing now and level four in his skills. So whatever. I'm just going to let him do his own thing. Stella should be out any minute now. And we're going to send off those texts and then hopefully we'll be able to meet up with somebody. Um, she earned $98 today, or Simoleon, sorry. And she actually did pretty good. So she should actually get promoted today, which is good. Um, Norris, Norris is stalking this family. What? Literally, what are you doing here? Is this our boss? This is our boss. Okay, let me see how cute. Oh, oh, he's actually not cute. From this little picture here, he did look like somewhat. Maybe he could be cute, but he's not. And this hair, it is a university hair, and it just like screams like teenager to me, honestly. I think this girl, she's our coworker. I think she would be kind of cute. Um, Sherry, I should have, is she still here? I'm going to zoom in on her face while I have the chance. See if she's cute. Oh, yeah. She's pretty. Okay. She's pretty. So she's definitely someone we'll hook up with. Um, we need five people. So we have our boss, our coworker. We're going to go to Slugger's Bar and Grill. Hopefully he says yes. We could hook up with our brother-in-law. <laughs> oh, God. And then... Uh, 
Tarek, Tariq, whatever, however you'd say his name. And then maybe Rhett, we'll see how he looks. I'm at work right now and don't know when I'll be done. Okay, well, that's just fucking rude. I guess we're going to go to the bar anyways. And maybe a rando will be there, you know? Maybe just a random will be there and we'll be able to meet them. Or if anything, I guess we'll just have to go home and use um, Rico's computer and check our online dating again. All right, girl, let's get on over here. Let's dance for actually first things freaking first, okay? We need to get out of our work clothes. And then we're going to dance for a little bit and hopefully get our fun up, give people a chance to show up. Um, yeah, there's nobody here except the bartenders. It is a Tuesday at 4 p.m., so it's not really a pop in time for a bar. Answer your phone. It might be Tarek or Tariq. I don't even know how you say his name. <gasps> Rhett wants to know if Stella would like to go on a date. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. I don't care if you're not even the person I was wanting to date today. Oh. Cheap drinks, happy hour has begun, of course, as soon as I leave. All right, Rico is a little bit stressed, so let's jump over to him. He is at the festival. I don't know. Can you stop? <laughs> stop talking to him. You're such a weirdo. Let's actually, let's see if anybody's here. Um, okay. Can this stop? Tate is the only person here. Mm. All right, we're going to go skating to get our fun up a little bit. And then they're fighting. What are they fighting about? Accuse him of being a diva. You're ridiculous. Let's actually see if we can chat with Ida. And if we can, maybe she's like not on the clock anymore and we can invite her. Um, invite her to come here. No, I'm at work. Do you see what I mean? She was at work at 8 a.m. and she's still there at 5 p.m. Um, I know in real life that's a pretty that's pretty normal, but in The Sims, that's a really, really long work day, and most Sims don't work that long. You know, we must be going to somewhere fancy because, my goodness. Oh, what kind of book did he write? I need to check that. He wrote a sports book. So maybe sport isn't for him. Maybe he'll do, like, um, maybe he'll be a fiction novelist or maybe a nonfiction. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see though. All right, let's go jump over to Stella. This is actually also good for us because she needs charisma for her job and talking to people gives her charisma. So I think this is a, um, it's considered a, oh my gosh, what is that called? A resort. I love that there's like a floating house right here. So we can't technically do anything unless we check in and yeah, you must check in at the front desk. So we have to like check in and stay for the night to actually use anything here. Play on? Play on? What was I trying to play on? Anyways, all right, where are we? All right, we're standing back here by the trash. Great place to meet, Rhett. Hello? Where is he? Hello? Is this... Norris? I swear to God, he's stalking our family. He's all the way over there eating. I'm confused. Why did you ask us on this date? Can we yeah, run inside, please? Are you staying here? Are you living here? Confused. Let's answer the phone. Maybe it'll be someone else asking us on a date. Let's go ahead and just chat with him. Put the freaking food down. Although that does look good. Outstanding baked Alaskan food. That sounds pretty good. I'm going to send Rhett home, have him just kind of like shower up, take his needs. Oh, Smokey died. Smokey was our childhood dog. That's really sad. Seriously. We'll ask about his career then. 
Girl, what? I'm so confused. I swear to God. Okay, I thought he was about to go for another plate of food. All right. We're just going to chat with him, ask his age, ask his career, his gender preference, his sign, if he's single. We did meet him on a dating app, so hopefully he's single. Let's ask about his alma mater. Let's consider his attractiveness. He's only two days older than us. All right, that's fine. Let's enthuse about our new car and talk about being irresistible. Oh, he's the university mascot. So we did not meet him through online dating. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm totally fine with that. Um, yeah, why don't you give Kaya some attention? Let's come over here and talk to her a couple times. Then we'll feed her a treat. Her social is very, very low. Um, Stella has not really given her attention lately. So he's straight. Okay, good to know. He is a Libra, and they, that is compatible signs. Awesome. Let's go ahead and let her sniff our hand, and then we'll brush her. Just kind of trying to get her social taken care of. Rhett is single. Awesome. And actually, I was just thinking, she needs charisma, but I don't think actually talking to anyone gets her charisma up until she already has a charisma skill. So... Oh, she thinks he's ugly. Okay. So this would just be like a quick bone to get something in and then they're done all right good to know i am so sorry he just came upstairs and started screaming i don't like that um we're gonna do a fiction book because i think he's gonna just kind of try and write books until he finds his niche like until he gets a bestseller and then he's like okay so this is the genre i need to go with obviously sports is not that genre because he had a flop all right Okay, so this is not going very well with Rhett. Maybe he can be like a backup plan, you know? Like he won't be the first person we go for. Don't high five him. I'm trying to gossip and it just, okay, there we go. It just would not let me select gossip. All right, we also can't be out too late because she does have to work tomorrow and I would like her to get at least one charisma skill. So I think I'm gonna send her home after this. I would like for her to, I swear to God, Norris is stalking us. Like 1000% he's stalking us. Did you know that Evelyn is filthy rich? I never would have guessed. Girl, she's literally your sister and she's filthy rich because of her husband. That's the only reason I promise you. All right, we're gonna end this date. I don't even know who it's with because he doesn't say he's on a date. So I don't know, really weird. Um, the one good, She's running. I was going to say, the one... Oh, our new book. Um, help me to help you. I don't know. Sure. I don't even know. Uh, we're basically home, so that's nice. Let's really quickly, before we go upstairs, let's not pay the bills. Um, let's clean up this recycling. Is she gonna have to go? Yeah, she is gonna go upstairs. So we're just gonna do the one and we're gonna come up here into our bathroom and practice our speech until our skill improves and then we're gonna go to bed. Oh man, I really should have just um, opened the garage door when I had her do that because she just went upstairs to go back downstairs. Is there really not a door? Oh no, there's not a door because his bedroom's in the way. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Also, Rico, what are you wearing? What? That's his formal wear, but like, why did he put his formal wear on? That's what I want to know. All right, Stella, let's see you gain a charisma point. Hopefully this happens fast, because I really would like you to... Oh, also, I don't know why this keeps saying that this... Oh, that's why it says that. Um... Weird. Okay, I did not change that, so the house actually comes like that, oddly enough. We're going to go ahead and just, uh, sorry, I had an itch. We're going to just grab this wall here. Maybe if this chooses to load. Hello? All right. And fix that. Boom, there we go. Now she won't get that stupid mood lid anymore. 
I was gonna say, every time she came in here, she got that moodlet, and I was like, I don't understand why, though. Because I always play like this, so I could never see the wall. All right, girl. You're not gonna be feeling good tomorrow. <laughs> she is not gonna be feeling good. She's gonna be starving. She's gonna... You can go to bed, also. 37. I'd say that's pretty good. Oh my god. She's gonna be struggling tomorrow. I'm actually gonna have her get some food, too, just because... Um, tuna roll sushi. I've never seen that before. It's always just said sushi. Weird. Oh god. Yeah, she's gonna be in a really, really, really bad mood. Maybe we'll just get halfway. So that way she can get some sort of sleep. Alright, girl. You're almost there. You're so close, I swear. I swear. You're so close to being able to go to bed. All right, that's halfway. That's halfway. Um, I'm going to end this part here. I know it wasn't like super interesting, but nothing really worked out. I tried to get her to go on a date. It didn't work out. I tried to get Rico to go on a date. It didn't really work out. Oh, Calvin has a fiance. Now I was going to say girlfriend, but now he has a fiance. Rosa, super cute. So yeah, um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I know it wasn't super exciting, um, but in the next one, I'm going to try and focus on getting her first of five, and then also hopefully Rico will be able to um, get a girlfriend during the day. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know by giving it a thumbs up, commenting down below, and subscribing if you have not already, and I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next one. Bye, guys.